people it is sherry moulton back with another video hope you're having an amazing day um i'm fine i'm alive i apologize for not having a video in almost two weeks that is ridiculously crazy and i apologize for that from the bottom of my heart um i have been busy downstairs in my studio room and i have been organizing i have been purging i have been <laughs> crazy i only had a two foot radius in front of me that i could work i would come in i would be gifted things i would show you and i would set it down so i part of my issue was i didn't want to come down here because everything was just a disastrous mess so i spent i had five days off and i've spent three of them down here almost every day so I'm trying to organize my stuff so I can come down here and I can feel inspired to create more things for you amazing people. So with that being said, I'm excited and I'm not quite done, but when we're done, I'll probably give you a little bit of an updated tour. So with that, I have something that I have been in my brain for a little while. My, um, my dad gave me this map and I thought it would be awesome to, um, put everybody's where everybody lives is on where everybody lives on the map because I thought it would be kind of cool with a little bit of interaction and I thought it was awesome so we could have friends around the world and this is where I am way up here in Canada and I have all these beautiful push pins that I purchased all these different colored push pins purchased those so I thought just a thought if you wanted um, in this video and every video from here on in comment where you're from and I will push pin you on my board I think it's cool I think it's a neat idea and then everybody can see where everyone's from it's kind of cool so yeah I ended up I blinged it out couldn't be sherry without blinging it out so I did my mirror tiles around the edge of the cork board and then I spray glued my map, don't fall, spray glued the map on and then I did the same around the edging of the map. So I thought that was kind of cool. My husband just kind of went, yeah, whatever. <laughs> He's not into the bling like I am. So anyways, I thought it was funny. So yeah, so in the video today, comment and I will start doing that. I'm excited because I think that's cool. So with that, today we are going to do some painting. I haven't done painting in a while. So I have some crackle medium. We are going to use some um, modeling paste. We are going to use some Duragloss varnish. We're going to use some glitter, some paint, and some stencils because we're going to recreate, because I was playing, I wanted to make sure it worked. We're going to recreate this little thing. It's probably still wet because I was just playing with it. So I thought that was cool. I don't know if you can see all the crackle. So we're going to do this on a board. So I'm going to get my beautiful, I, I'm in love with this sweater, <laughs> this jacket. It's now starting to get spring so I can wear it again. So with that, I'm going to get my stuff together. We're going to get playing and I'll see you guys in just a second. Hi, I'm back. We are ready to go. I was going to use just a dollar store cradle board, but I went to take it out and it was broken, so I can't use that. And this is what happens when you clean up. I found these. I did them in the shopping hall. They are a canvas with its own little frame. I forgot it. <laughs> I'm bad. I forgot I even had these. So it's multi-craft. I'll give you that if you need. And of course, they put the price tag over the skew, but it was $5. This one's a 10 by 10. And then I had a smaller version. This is a 8 by 8. So I think we're going to do the 8 by 8. We're going to go small. And I think I can't believe that that was that's funny. All right, we're going to open it up. That is so amazing. And then we can do something with that frame at the end. So this is an eight by eight inch. 
I was going to use this stencil, but I don't think it is big enough or small enough. We could use, uh, there we go, we will use this one. I think we'll use this one. So that's cool. All right. So with that, we are going to move on, my friends. So what we're going to do, I'm going to set my canvas aside for the moment. We are going to paint it black. So we're going to have it a base coat of black. And this is my Artist Loft Acrylic Flow Black. I'm just going to do that. I got my paintbrush already. I was painting already this morning, so it is done. And just give it a quick coat. You can tape off the back if you desired. We're not gonna put resin or nothing on it, so right at this moment, I'm not too worried. And I don't, like I said, I don't want a big hunkin' thick coat. I just want enough, enough that it is covered. Because we're doing a few steps today. I'm just getting the edges. Not sure if they're gonna show in that little frame, but might as well do it while we're going. All right, get this edge. Oh. And this edge. Part of the other reason I didn't come down here is because I broke my baby toe again. I did it last year at this time, my other foot, and I'm like, oh, MG, what is with that? Craziness. I got a little bit of paint here, so I'm gonna use this. I didn't even, I forgot I had it in there. I would have used it first. So I could have used it all up. Don't really matter if there's lines, but I'm not, I don't want it very thick because I want it to dry quick. That's my only thing. Even it all out. There we go. I used to use Crackle Medium all the time when we were doing our our painting, toll painting stuff, it's kind of cool. It is neat, just these chemical reactions that you get, my friends, it is craziness. Okay, I'm gonna put this up on a couple of little cups. Actually, let me get the other ones, they're a little wider and more sturdier. And I'm going to, I can get at I can get at my cupboard <laughs> because I cleaned. I'm just going to set these on top of these plastic cups, and then I'm going to we'll do four. It's a bit overkill, but and then it's sturdy because it brings you closer to to you. And I'm going to blow dry it. So I'm just going to blow dry this. I'm going to come back when this is all dry. I'll see you in a sec. Okay, we are back. This is all dry. Pretty cool. Take two seconds. So now what we want to do is, oh, I almost did it again. I'm going to do a layer of glitter. I've pulled out some of the amazing Laura's glitter and I am going to mix it up with the Dura Clear. I'm mixing it up with the Dura Clear gloss varnish, which is, you could probably do Mod Podge. I just had this. It's a little thinner than Mod Podge, so it works a little. So I put meh, just a little, about to there on that measuring cup. And I had a hard decision. I got this Shamrock Twinkle. I have this Emerald Seas. And I have Wedding Day Bliss. But, oh my goodness, that's not the one I wanted. I wanted the Shifting Seas. Well, actually, let's do this old Christmas tree because I want to put gold on top of what I'm going to put the stencil with. So we'll do old Christmas tea, tree, Christmas tea. That's funny. 
and I'm gonna look, look at that isn't that gorgeous I thought I would do some gold on top of the um, the stencil so this has some gold in it so I think that'll be pretty so I'm gonna do one big scoop into that and I am going to give it a mix I was playing with stuff that wasn't Galora's because I didn't want to waste the good stuff her amazing glitters are so pretty I feel bad I haven't used them in a while I'm just so ah gotta get back to myself I don't know I've lost myself guys so let me get my brush Doo -doo 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 -doo. it is on my table somewhere oh here it is here it is this thing is probably almost 15 years old look at it it's even wiggly it's a little loose but I tell you guys you pay a little more and you keep them oh, so I'm just dumping it in look at that look at that Laura like I said before I've said it before and I'll say it again you had me at glitter okay so we're just gonna paint this with glitter And then when we do our crackle on top, guess what's going to shine through? Some glitter. I'm going to look like I'm missing some down here. Here, you know what? I'm just going to dump it all in. I don't want to waste it. Oh, Got to have all of it in there. And we'll just, whoops, a little bit more. We'll spread it around. And then this is going to dry. See, you can make your own glitter paint, guys. I bought some very expensive glitter paints from Try Art, which is where I I get my liquid glass. Like I said, it's made in the local town where I'm from. And I haven't used it yet because it is solid as a rock. So I have to figure out what to do with it. And I spent a little bit of money on it. So, all right. Done. Now I'm just going to take my blow dryer and one more little swipe here so I don't have a line. I'm going to get my blow dryer and we're going to give this, just make sure there's no bumps and sticking because it was dripping over here. All right, I'm going to wash this out because you don't want to ruin your beautiful paint brushes that you've spent some money on. And we're going to let this dry and I'll be back in two seconds with you my friends I'll be right back guys okay I'm back this is dried I'm and I've been taking my blow dryer and drying it in between stages so it's dry but look at that oh my goodness is that not amazing that's going to be beautiful and then with putting some gold gold leafing or something on that that would be cute okay so there's many different crackle mediums out there and I know you can make your own as well never done that but this is the one that I always used when we did our toll painting and painting like that folk art was a big big part of because we had a lot of paints that were folk art and I can't believe I gave them all away I had like hundreds of paints I think I had every color that they had but that's another story so with this it is folk art crack crackle medium and you want to make sure you give it a good shake because I I don't know what I was thinking I didn't shake it and that didn't happen and I don't know if it was the paint was thick too that was the Pebio studio and then this ended up occurring 
the beautiful cracking. So that's what we're doing. I'm excited. All right, here we go, guys. So I have a little in here. Um, I'm going to put maybe a little bit more in here. And then got my brush. And here we go. We're going to just slather it on. Nice, even coat. Now this layer, you can come in and go over. The next layer, I would not, because then you're gonna, your crackles are gonna be all funky. So let me get in here. I'm just gonna do a quick little, just to get it on here and then come back and And you want this to completely dry. So again, I'm going to put you on pause. We're going to blow dry it. Just going to do that. And I think we are good. I'm just going to do this just so in case there's a little bit dripping and I don't want it to drip. Because we want to be able to put it back in that. And there we go. Perfect. So now I can wash this brush out so that it's not going to be ruined because we're not going to use that anymore. So with that, I'm going to blow dry this and we'll be back when this is dry. Okay, guys, this is all dry. Pretty sweet. I'm excited now. So this is where, so to speak, the magic happens. So I just got my paintbrush. I just have my the same coat we base coated with the artist loft acrylic flow white or black and we're just going to cover this this is the one where you don't want to keep repeating coming back over the same spot because that will affect the crackle okay so i'm just going to get my paintbrush loaded and and that's it just said a not to do that and that's what I'm doing no lines even coat I'm going against what I said I'm just going up and down just to get an even coat start in the middle I just want to, not too thick though. I guess I should have had my crown on. This is sort of a bling bling, isn't it guys? Oh well. I'm just going to get the edges because I don't want drips. I don't want it to be impaired to get back into that. Can you see what's going on? I can see it. Oh my goodness. I am just letting you look at it. Can you see it, guys? I can see it coming through. Oh my goodness. I have paint everywhere. I'm just going to pour my paint back in that I had in my little cup because we're not going to need that. Well, you watch, you watch what's going on there because that is pretty cool. There we go. Isn't that neat? There's no time lapse. That is what it is, my friends. I think it's pretty cool. And I have to remember to take this upstairs to wash it. Isn't that neat? Like, look at. Isn't that cool? That 
that's sweet. So you get glitter, but not in your face glitter. You know what I mean? But, you know, you can never have too much glitter. I'm not going to argue with that point because that is amazing. <sighs> I have a hard decision, guys. I got to, I got to, I'm just letting this watch. You watch while this is doing. I'll chit chat. I have to, um, figure out what to do with my glitters. I have a four tiered, one, two, three, four tiered, um, cart from Michael's with all my glitters in it. And, oh, I got to organize them. Miss Laura is on my first and second shelf, but I can't see any of it. It's all piled on top of each other. So I got to refill through everything. So I have to figure out a system so I can show them off because I think that would be awesome. Oh, I'm excited, hopefully. Let's see if I can help it along. I'm, close your ears. Here's my blow dryer. kind of see where the paint was a little thicker you can, can you see where the cracks are a little bit bigger I think that's awesome love it love it love it do, 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 do. neat. I always liked chemistry because you never know what was going to happen. Yeah, I was that nerd. Used to go to science fairs and all that kind of stuff. But Anyway, well, I'm going to let this dry because we can't do the next step until it dries. And I'll see you guys in a minute. I just wanted to let you see how quick the effect works but it has to be completely dry before I put on my stencils so anyways I'll see you guys in a second or two okay guys this is dry is that not the is that not the coolest what is that piece of the glitter awesome hoping you can see that through the because that's pretty sweet now Ah, I don't know if I want to use a sticker, but it's, it's a sticky. It is sticky. And I'm an eyeballer, guys. I would rather kind of eyeball it. I think that looks good. it doesn't stick that I can't okay perfect okay now I'm just going to use my this is bought this off of Amazon it's handy art designers palette it is artist acrylic medium model paste it's a quite a big size so that's why I purchased that now let me I've got some spatulas. I've organized everything. Oh my goodness, I know where my paintbrushes are. I know where my spatulas are. Pretty, pretty sweet. So I'm wondering, one of these, one of these. Because I think the, the little guy I used earlier is a bit small. And all of these guys are curved. All of those silicone little brushes, I don't know if you can see, they're curved. So if you want to use those, you'd have to flatten it. Well, we'll start off with this guy. And I am just scooping. I'm gonna start this way and finish down here because there's a little bit of a ripple. Here we go, I just caked it on is what I did. 
just like buttering a cake. Another scoop, and here we go. Um, if you don't want it to be so thick, you can do a thin layer. What I would do is do this and then take the edge of that scraper to even it out maybe. I just want to get it on there. Woo! I can see where it's a little thicker and you can feel it as you're doing it. You want to make sure you stay within the perimeter of your stencil. Got all those little dots down here I want to get. All right. Now this is where I may have a oops, may have a problem. Make sure it's kind of even. I got a little ripple here, so we'll see if <laughs> how that goes. Hopefully, we will not have a problem. Oh, it's lifting. You could use like a stencil um, spray to adhere your stencil on there so it doesn't do what it just did here because you don't really want it to lift. And these got some little wee, oh, I don't want to get on. All right, I think I got everything. I'm going to scrape that off there. <sighs> here we go, here we go, here we go. I'm going to go on this end and then and lift and lift and oh my goodness we have success guys. I don't think I've ever done, I'm just trying to flatten that out. That looks pretty cool. I think that turned out pretty cool. Now this you can scrape it all off because you don't want to waste any of that amazing stuff. So I'm just taking my scraper, scraping it off and putting it back into my jar. Ah. <laughs> it's almost like having henna on my hand. <laughs> My goodness all right I just want to get what I can off it just because I don't want to make a mess when I set it down all right there we go and that's it my friends I'm gonna we'll set that there because I'm gonna take it upstairs to wash I am going to let that dry completely now the butterflies dry so I don't know how long it's gonna take and then when we come back, I'm going to do something on top of that, whether it be um, some gold paint. I would love to do gold leafing on it. <laughs> uh, me and gold leafing does not work. Sorry if I'm being noisy. I'm just getting some stuff to whip my hands off. But yeah, so that's what my thoughts are. I'm probably going to come back with my... Um, the gold, my artist Arteza gold, and come back on top of that. That's why I wanted the 
a little bit of gold in my glitter. So it would counteract with that. And then maybe we might paint the um, frame gold. We'll see. So anyways, there you go, my friends. So I'm gonna let that dry. And again, unfortunately, I love my job, but I just don't wanna go. <laughs> <laughs> I think most of us are like that some days. You want to go, but you don't want to go. It's always good on payday, though, right? So, there we go, guys. All right. I think that's cool. I think that's cool. Very, very cool. Where's the frame? Where did I put the frame? <laughs> there. And it sits in there like that. That's pretty sweet. Yeah, I think we need to do something with the frame. All right. I'll see you when this is dry. See you in a bit, guys. I thought, instead of waiting until this dried, I'm going to set this over here, let it dry, let it do its thing, set it somewhere where it's not going to fall, and we're going to we're gonna paint this. And I was thinking this Arteza gold, I think, would be pretty. So, let me get another brush, and we will paint that up. Don't have to be on the inside, but we could do it. Just, And I'm just putting my paint on my brush. I'm being sherry being sherry, and I'm just spreading it, spreading it around. size and then we can do the top and the side And I kind of like this idea because I'm still seeing my um, the wood grain a little bit because I think that's kind of cool. I don't know if you can see. Can you see the wood grain through it still? It's kind of cool. A little bit of transparent. Just spreading that out so I don't have a big glob on my brush. smooth oh that's weird down there one smooth motion and then let's get this side and then they can dry together they can be dry roomies roommates that drying <laughs> while I go to work and sell tickets There we go. I'll set these back up and I can do the corners. And then we will do the top. There we go. Perfect. And here we go. And do the same as I did on the sides. If you go like this, you're not going to goof up the sides. You're going to get the paint on there. And I think we will do the inside just because because you do see a little bit of the you do see a little of that when you when, when you put that in there, when you put the canvas in. I'm going to 
I know I got the big glob on that side, but we're gonna. Now this is smooth as could be. I didn't sand it. Um, if you want to take the time and sand it, that is fine and dandy. One nice smooth move, especially on the top. And then let's get the inside. some paint trying to get that lip the lip that's here just in case because that's where you would see is that lip I think in the corner. Make sure you got no blobs on the top. Ah, I just touched it. I got lots of paint on there, just I'm not able to. Okay, I feel really bad. I looked up and my um <laughs> my memory card was empty so my it stopped recording don't know where it stopped but i did one good coat all the way around my frame with the arteza gold and i think that is cool i think i'm only going to do one coat because like i said i like the idea that you can kind of see the wood grain through it so with that we're gonna let this dry we're gonna let this guy dry and i will see you after work i'll go wash my paintbrush and i'm gonna go and wash my stencil so with that i'll see you guys in a little bit hello i am back my canvas is dry our canvas even though it's a wooden piece of um frame that's crazy now my thoughts are I don't know how I'm going to put this in here to stay. So I thought I might get my glue gun out and put uh, glue in the corners. And what I'll probably do, actually do a fine bead. Because as you can see in this frame, that's why I wanted to paint it, the inside of it, because there's a little bit of give. So I'm on the fence. I don't know what to do. <laughs> I was debating whether to do this in gold leaf. I have not had the best luck with gold leaf the last two times I've tried. I tried to do another painting here and it went in the garbage because I can't believe. Anyways, I did a video and I scraped it three times. So that video is no longer existent. But anyway, so I thought, well, I'll bring out these are my new chrome markers from Let's Resin. So I thought I would bring out the chrome marker and see what it looked like but then it looks it my opinion it looks lost let me bring it up so you can see it I did the center and my opinion it's getting lost so I thought maybe I just touched the top so I thought maybe I would do some accents like I might do like these little corner pieces well maybe not because that part didn't show up um you know, maybe here, 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 here. Just do a couple little accents in these big guys. And then that's it. Because I like the idea that you can see it. It's so three-dimensional. It's pretty cool. I don't know if you can see the... You probably can't see it. But, so, we're going to do that. So, I'm going to touch on these... 
these guys and I've got my marker primed. You just tap it down, tap it down till the paint comes to the end. So here. And because it's uneven, I wasn't able to totally get the sides and I don't know. So I thought this would be the coolest. There, and then we'll do these guys. And then leave the rest white. So let me know if you want to see another of something like this, because I think this is kind of cool. I am the crackle will really show if you did um, just two paints. So the next time I do this, I could do just a plain old crackled. There. Yeah. I think that's. I think. I think. Maybe do these four guys. Since they're all there. I can't believe this little section. I never noticed it. Didn't show. These guys remind me of little fishies. Push down so it would. Oh, these, I like this marker. I've never used it. My first time using it. I'll flip this around. And I could color this paste as well. Yeah, I think that's it. I'm going to leave it like that. Done. So I'm going to put my lid on the marker so I don't ruin it, put it away. Actually, I'll put it in my pile of things I need to tell you what I used. So I'm going to plug my glue gun in because I forgot to charge my big guy. So I'm going to get my glue gun. We're going to get it ready. And then I'm just going to do a small bead on the inside of this and we will be done. I'll see you in a sec, guys. Okay, guys, I got my glue gun. I'm just going to remove this. I'm going to just do a bead all the way around just the per, uh, blah, 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 just the inside and it doesn't have to be anything crazy There we go. Get these out of the way so I can press it down. And there we go. Let's make sure it's there. Even a little up and then do 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 give it a second to adhere. I hope that works. That's weird because I don't know how else you would put that in there because they don't really... Oh, that didn't work. Here, let me do a whole bunch of glue on here. It dried quick. All right, let's... Bunny. Oh my god, Sherry. There we go. Oh my gosh, there we go. That is so weird. I don't know how else she would put that in there. Let's see. It's 
not. It still doesn't want to stick, but I'm wondering if I could do it this way. Put a bead of glue on the inside. Because it ain't going to go anywhere. Kind of like caulking with glue. We'll see if it works. I know it ain't going to be very pretty on the back, but I want the picture to stay in there. There. I think that was the solution. There we go. Well, there you go, guys. I hope you enjoyed today's video. It's a little different. Something different. Um, we will do the crackle again, but we'll do it... Um, on more noticeable colors we can do like a, a dark base and a light top and then that way it you can see the dark through the light and all that fun stuff so with that my amazing friends don't forget to um put in the description box your location where you live so i can put that on my new blinged up map because i think that's awesome i would love to know where everybody lives and um yeah so with that Please, please, if you have not yet subscribed, think about subscribing because I'm almost at that 100,000 mark on my YouTube channel and it would help me out tremendously. Um, if you are already subscribed, thank you, thank you, thank you. And hit that bell for notifications. If you enjoy the videos, please give them a share. And with that, I am going to tell you all the links I have. I have amazing sponsors. And here we go. So they'll all be in the description box along with everything I've used today. So my first, <clears throat> sorry, I'd like to, I have the links to um, where to purchase Julie Cutts molds. I have the links to where to purchase TriArt liquid glass. I have the links to... <clears throat> And a discount code for a crystal resin, which is Sherry Molten 5, capital S. I have the links to um, Let's Resin with my discount code of Sherry M10. I have the um, two amazing Lores distributors. I have Michelle from Artworks Resin Canada. Go check out her website. She's got much, much more than just Lores. My discount code for Michelle is sherry molten 10 capital s capital m and the amazing laura my glitter guru where we use the glitters today so go check out laura's website um she's got much more than just lores and glitters uh, my discount code for laura is all capital letters sherry molten 10 percent and my paypal's in there if you choose to help to donate and with that my amazing people i'll see you guys in the next one Love you guys. Bye. Woo. Bye-bye.